It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Thanks so much for keeping it locked. We're back with our digital content creators and hair influencers, Abongwe Okela, Amanda Kopidi, and Sarah Greg McDonald as we discuss the various aspects of maintaining your natural hair. And if you're interested in starting your own journey, then sit up and take notes and get, fact, get into the kitchen as we've asked each of these resplendent ladies to provide us with a homemade hair mask that uses common kitchen ingredients. And we're going to be discussing the similarities and the differences between our different hair types as we go and our hair needs. You said, listen to my hair. My hair right now is telling me, well, we're getting smaller. We're just getting smaller. <laughs> um, but I do have hair and I'm proud of my hair. Um, so I'm guessing our, our porosity is going to come into this as well. We're going to find out whether our hair goes, what? Or, um, but we've each got a little station here. So I'm going to ask you guys to start and then we can walk through what you are doing. But I've got to say, you are all delightful. Thank you so much for bringing this energy into our studio. It's been so cool. I think a lot of people will be listening to what you are saying. So Sarah, we're going to start with you you've yeah. got what looks like a lovely dip to yeah. create for us um, what's going into your, so your mixture we've got some milk um, some avocado some honey coconut oil and eggs um, so the avocado is really good for helping to moisturize your hair and it's got lots of natural vitamins from the fruit and um, the milk and the egg are a good source of protein which your hair really needs to stay strong and to grow and then the coconut oil is also just adding extra oils and the honey is also kind of adding a bit of shine and smoothness so yeah just mix um, it all together and how long do you have to, when you talk about porosity, and, and so obviously everyone's hair type is slightly different, how, do you, how long do you have to keep this mask on and what's the process that you go through? So you can do it straight after washing your hair um, on clean, dry, um, clean damp hair or you can do it on dry hair. Um, and I'd normally leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes and then you can just rinse it off. And yeah, if you can wear a heat cap, that would be... Even the best. better. Yeah, the right. best route. Amanda, uh, is that yogurt going in? That is plain yogurt. Okay, so talk us through your well. ingredients and what do they do to the hair? Okay, so I've got banana, mm -hmm. which is. Um, it's going to provide the shine and it's also a natural conditioner oh, as really? well. And then um, the yogurt, it's very fatty and um, there's lots of proteins in there and it's also going to provide the shine and it also if you suffer from dry scalp this is the perfect ingredient for you to have as well. Then we're going to go in with some honey. The honey is a humectant and that means that it's just going to seep up all that moisture into your hair. Okay. Yeah, it's going to trap that moisture kind into of a your hair. a vehicle to get the moisture in there. And okay. of course, olive oil, which is always a good idea when it comes to your hair because um, it's going to provide the shine and lustre into your hair as well. So we're going to whip this up and then we're going to leave it on our hair for about half an hour to an hour and then rinse thoroughly. Bongwe, I know you say you're lazy, okay, yeah. but you are taking great care with yeah. creating your, your, your mask there. What's gone into yours? Yes, mine only has four ingredients because <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> um, olive oil, egg yolk, and um, avo, as well as some honey, and that's it. And then you just mash it together, put it in your hair for like an hour. I just keep it for 30 minutes, but we don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and then literally your hair afterwards, it's like shining and it's like nice and soft. And that's what my hair wants and that's what I get my hair. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got some social media comments coming through, so I'm going to allow, the, uh, there we go, um, load those in a second. And I want you guys to think about what you would say to a younger version of yourself, because I'm getting a, a sense that you all went through like a real gateway moment in your development as, as people, never mind just as, as those that are supporting natural hair. But Samantha Reddy is saying, what treatment can I use for dry hair and split ends, other than just chopping them off, as you suggested? <laughs> um... So I suppose, yeah, one of these would deep be really good, like a deep conditioner yeah. or yeah, some, something that has a lot of moisture and can just kind of add all that moisture back into your curls. you three options right here. And then Sharon uh, Carlson saying, advice for lumpy, brittle hair, very fine though. I don't know uh, menopause part of it. How do I make it stronger? That's a, that's a layered question, come on. Um, maybe you want to give it a, a crack, what? Amanda? The first thing I would say is actually to go to her doctor um, because I think it's very important if she has uh, issues with her hair that you wouldn't find normally, first go to your doctor and then try one of these as well because I think it's, yeah, definitely deep condition is so important within so your important. natural hair journey. Yeah. Abonga, I'm going to ask you this final question before we go. What would you say to a younger version of yourself in 30 seconds? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell her it gets better. Like, your love for your hair gets better and the 
expressing your hair through your hair is actually a vibe. And one day people are going to love you for it and um, you're going to love it. Yeah. Absolutely adore it. <laughs> Put it in your hair, man. They haven't finished making it. Um, I, I've got to say thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. We absolutely love the message that you're sending out there, but also just how comfortable and humble right, you are in your go. own journey. That's been amazing. Um, are we uh, ready? Uh, Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. That's all. Oh, I thought you were going to come and slap it on my head. Get it in there, son. Get it in there. Can I have banana and apple? We'll see you bright and early oh, South man. Africa. Have an amazing Amazing oh, Heritage Day, Heritage I'm Day. My head. Hopefully Loving this it. has inspired you. Ladies, give us a, oh, a wave goodbye. So great to have you in studio. We love you. Don't forget it.